Hey everybody, I'm super excited about this video. I'm going to tell you my favorite tips and tricks with cushion grip. I'm going to tell you all about the testing I did and the top three questions that I get on a daily basis regarding cushion grip. So as denture wearers, we have extra steps that we take. We have a longer routine in the morning, a longer routine at night. We have extra stresses and worries during the day. Are they going to shift? Are we going to have to reapply adhesive? Is there, I mean, there's so many different variables. So anything that can change our life and make the steps easier, make things more comfortable, put some more confidence in your dentures or your appliance that they're not going to come loose or whatever it is. I am excited about that because it makes life easier. I'm all about helping you make your denture experience more enjoyable to where it becomes a part of you. You're not stressed about this prosthetic that you have in your mouth. So anything that can make your life easier with dentures or an appliance, I'm all for it. So when it comes to cushion grip, the top three questions that I get are pretty important. So the first one is, what is it? It's a liner and an adhesive together has two purposes. Anything that has more than one purpose that can do a bunch of things, I'm really excited about because it cuts out buying two separate things. That's important. What's also important is that it lasts longer. It lasts three to five days. So you do not have to scrape adhesive out of your mouth on a daily basis. You don't have to keep reapplying things. You can actually keep this in your dentures for three to five days. That's pretty cool. So the other part about this is that it brings more comfort to wearing an appliance. So here's the thing about wearing dentures is everyone has a different experience. Some people really, really, really dislike their dentures and they don't like to wear them. They don't wear them very much and they have a really negative experience with that. I am trying to change that. I want to give you useful tools and education that you can use to change the way you view your denture wearing experience. It can be positive. It can bring your confidence back. It can make your life better. We just have to work on it together. So this product is really great because it serves two purposes. It lasts a long time. It's affordable and it has options. I have tried it on acrylics. I've tried it on porcelain. I've tried it on Valplast, Ultra Thins, Carident. I have tried it on everything I can get my hands on, including partials, and it is working. That's what's really cool about this. I actually didn't need anything in my dentures because they fit really well, but I decided to give it a try. I wanted to know what people were experiencing, so I went ahead and applied it to my own dentures, and I was really pleasantly surprised. It worked really well. So there's some tips to it that you can get it to work better. So the instructions are very clear, they're very precise, and they are pretty, pretty understandable and pretty straightforward. That's it. And that has a removal on the back. So this is a really great instruction pamphlet. There are a few things that you can tweak though to make it work better for you. And I think that given people's product or appliance, it can be a different process for you. So here's a disclaimer. I just want to say this, that if your dentures are very loose, you might not get exactly the results that you're looking for. Ultimately, you want to have a good fitting appliance that is functional and fits you properly. So we all know that reality happens and then not everyone can get back to the dentist or the denturist whoever it is and get a new set or get a new appliance or address the problems. There's all different challenges involved, whether it be, you know, financial or whatever it is, there's, there's reasons and that's understandable. So when we find a product that will help you at least deal with some of those challenges that can be beneficial to people. So here's the thing. When you're applying products like this, I want you to always remember, have a clean environment, okay? Have a clean surface, have clean, dry hands, make sure that you're uninterrupted, that you have time to work with these products and get the feel for them so the next time you apply them, it can go smoother and faster for you. If you're rushed and interrupted, you might not apply it right or it might not work out right and that might make you more furious and frustrated with the product than anything. So make sure that you have time patience and a clean surface. Okay. You want to start off with a clean, dry denture. You want your dentures to be clean and dry and your hands clean and dry. 
So the way that this product works is you put it in hot tap water. So I get a measuring cup, whatever you have, a bowl, submerge the entire tube into hot tap water. The instructions say five minutes, but I really found out through the testing, seven to 10 minutes is a better time frame. It will make it more pliable, let it stay warmer longer, and actually give you a thinner application if that's what you're looking for. Because that was some of the complaints that I saw people have is that it's too thick, I don't want it that thick in my denture, and I wasn't happy because it felt bulky. Let it get warmer longer so that you can apply it in a thinner application. What's cool about this stuff is you could actually also piece it together. It forms one application when you put in little pieces. but. When you're doing this, you want to start off with a marble size ball. You do not want to put a big glob of it in your denture because you're just going to waste that product. It is going to get trimmed off and you're going to end up just wasting it. I actually made that mistake. I thought that I needed more and by the end of the application, I ended up trimming a bunch of it off. So start out with about a marble size and that's a good piece to start off with. When you get the marble piece out, you want to put the cap back on. Make sure that it goes back on because as it's a warm product, it can ooze out onto your surface and you waste that product. So that's a little tip. Make sure to put that cap back on during your application process. So what you do is you just start spreading it around your denture, whatever you're putting it on. You spread it around, put it down on it, and push it down like you're doing a putty stamp on the newspaper. You want to push it into there. Now the instructions say five minutes. You want to let it dry for five minutes. I found 10 minutes is the better processing time. It gives it more time to apply to the surface. So once it creates that seal, you're good to go. But if you need more on there, you can take out a little bit more and piece it in there. It will actually form together like hot rubber or hot plastic or bubble gum. So here's the trick. When it's dry, when your 10 minutes is up, put it back in your warm water for about 30 seconds. 20 to 30 seconds is about the best time. Then put it in your mouth. Then it's warm. So heat activates this stuff. Heat is what makes it soft. It's what makes it sticky. It's what gets it going. I noticed right off the bat when I put it in my mouth, it felt globby and chunky and just not comfortable. But after about 30 minutes, I noticed it was starting to spread out and getting more tacky. So when you put it in your mouth, you want to make sure that all of your appliances are in there. You don't have to do top and bottom at the same time, but you want to make sure that you have your top and bottom in or whatever combination you have going on so that you can bite down correctly. And you want to put firm pressure. You also want to make sure that you shore up the rocking. You want to keep doing that and you want to give it time. Time is what works with this stuff. So 30 to 45 minutes is when I noticed the change happening. So at first they felt bulky. I felt like I had monkey mouth and it just was too much product inside my denture. And then something happened. It started to heat activate with your body temperature and it started to thin out and spread out. So I got a really great experience out of it. It does tingle a little bit, kind of like Reline It, but it's not intense like Reline It. It doesn't have that overpowering sensation, but it does have a, small, a little bit of a slight tingle, and it does have a little bit of a chemical smell, but not, not too much and overpowering. It's very slight, almost like an adhesive type. So here's the thing. The other day, I asked my husband if he would be my guinea pig. Can I send you out to work with this in your denture. He was a little hesitant and didn't really know how to react to that, but he let me do it anyway. So we applied it in his denture, sent him off to work, away he went. That's a big risk for him because normally with his two-year-old temporary dentures, they're very loose. He has to apply a lot of adhesive. He has to rinse them. And I mean, it's just a really big hassle for him while he's at work and it makes things really complicated. During the night, he was sending me little updates, letting me know how shocked and surprised he was. His dentures were fitting, had a great barrier, food wasn't getting in there. He wasn't reapplying adhesive all night long or rinsing the food out of his dentures. They were fitting good. When he got home, he took them out, put them in the cleaner, 
and that was it. And I'm scraping things off of his gums. He was happy and he has actually had it in there ever since. So it has changed his life and how he manages his dentures. It has saved him time, trouble, stress, worry, all these different things. And that is fantastic. That to me is a really great product. So I've done some clips to show you a little bit just how you would apply it and things like that. But the most amazing thing here, everyone, that I'm super excited about is this. This is a Russell Klein Ultra. Aren't they beautiful? Keridit is this really smooth, amazing product. It's so smooth and durable and just beautiful. It's meant to fit so snugly and nice. But the problem with this is that nothing likes to stick to it because it's non-porous. It's amazing. It's hyperallergenic. It is a great product and it's awesome. But up until now, ultra thin wearers or possible ultra thin wearers have been hesitant because there's nothing to fall back on. There's been nothing that's been compatible with the keratin. Things like Denture Fit and ProSoft and Reline It, they're great products, but they didn't, they didn't have any compatibility with the keratin. But Cushion Grip does. Now we have something that works with this. It is sticking, everyone. It is in there. I've gotten it hot. I've messed with it. I've given it lots of wear and tear. It is working and it's heat activated. So when it's warm, it's tacky, it's squishy, it's a liner, it's a barrier, but it doesn't come off. So this is success. This is amazing, like cosmic news because it gives ultra thin wearers options. Options are what they needed. This is a perfect product and I am in love with it. So I want you to tell me, here's your question, your question of the day. Are you using cushion grip? Have you tried it and you don't like it? What is your experience with cushion grip? Do you have any tips and tricks for anyone who might be looking to try it or something that I didn't mention that I didn't realize? Tell me how your experience in cushion grip, does it work for you? How long have you been using it? Does it feel like the old formula if you were a previous user of Cushion Grip? I want to know. I want to know how it's working for you. I want to be able to share this information with everyone so that you become a happy denture wearer. This is my goal. My goal is to make this an easier process for everyone so that this becomes less of a stress and you can focus on your life and not have to worry about the appliance and prosthetic in your mouth. This does not have to be horrible. It can be a good thing. And when we find products that work, we need to hold on to them and shout it to the world. So I love this. If you're using it, let me know how it's working. I want to know. And if you haven't subscribed already, I hope that you do and that you hit the bell for notifications because there's some amazing news coming to this channel. I'm so excited about it and I can't wait to tell everyone. Probably next week we'll do the announcement, but... I would love to hear from everyone. I love hearing your updates. I love hearing how everyone is doing. And tell me if you're reluctant to buy the ultra thins because there wasn't anything to, to work with them. Tell me if this changes things for you or if there's something that I didn't mention that you would like to see. I love hearing topics and tips and things like that. So if there's something that I can cover, let me know. I want to be able to help you and educate you with this. This is awesome. It's a great product and I am so excited to share it with you. So otherwise, leave a comment. Let me know how things are going and I will see you guys in the next one.